Pride. É. Ei. Ok. Não, tá aqui na casa nenhuma. Right. Uh, <coughs> sorry, yesterday, let's just try to have a recap of what we dealt with uh, yesterday. I remember in question one, we looked at the short questions, uh, the financial literacy in, in economics and management science. Uh, in 1.1, they said that you should match the terms from uh, column A to the definitions in column B and write your answers in the blocks provided. We were given a table uh, of two where you have column A, the terms, and column B, which were the definitions. And one of the terms that we had in 1.1 was that an entry found on the left side of the general ledger. You must give us uh, the definition. What is an entry found on the left side of the general ledger? And we said that is what we call the debit. <laughs> The debit will always be on the left side of your general ledger. Right. Anything taken from, okay, we have a money kept in a box to pay for minor expenses. And then we said that is a petty cash. Petty cash meaning it's uh, that amount of money that is kept in a box to pay for minor uh, expenses. Right. And then in 1.3, we said that uh, anything taken from the business for the owner's personal use. Give uh, a definition for anything taken from the business for the owner's personal use. And we said that is the drawings. We, we give a definition uh, to that as uh, the drawings. And then in 1.4, we said that uh, when money is withdrawn from a bank account and the balance goes below zero, and we said that is over overdraft. Overdraft is what now? It's when your money, you overdraft, we allow you to withdraw more than you have on your, on your account. And then we define that as your, your overdraft. But the correct way of putting this is to say when money is withdrawn from a bank account and the balance goes below zero, zero. that's an overdraft. And then lastly, we said that the information from the journals transferred to the general ledger, we said we are posting. We are posting on a general ledger. And then that's what we dealt with yesterday just a brief summary of what we had and then i think we also went to 1.2 again yeah? because in 1.2 i remember those were true or false questions and then they said answer true or false to the following questions and provide an explanation for your choice and then they said income and expenses are recorded in the nominal section in the general ledger income and expenses are recorded in the nominal section in the general legend we said that is true and then we also gave uh, the reasons uh, for that <clears throat> and then we said that income and expenses are recorded in the nominal section why that is because uh, not the balance sheet section we are not recording on the balance sheet section but we are recording income and expenses in the nominal section in the general ledger so the statement was correct and then 1.2.2 they said for every debit there is another debit entry i call now we spoke of the double entry principle again for every debit there must be a credit and then we said that statement is false because for every debit there is a credit entry which is what we call the double entry principle and then in 1.2.3 we said that a uh, cash float have a short lifespan this is a statement that requires whether this is true or false cash float have a short lifespan therefore it's classified as a non-current asset is that true we said that is false because a cash float is a current asset okay? and it has a short lifespan this is very important that we understand that a uh, cash flow is a current asset it's a, it, it's not a non-current asset it is a current asset therefore it has a short life span very important 
And then we said that consumables are referred to as an expense. The statement, whether this is true or false, that consumables are referred to as expenses. Yes, this is true. <clears throat> Why? Because our consumables are quickly consumed, okay? and they do not have enough uh, value to be considered as assets because they are quickly consumed. So they do not have uh, uh, enough uh, lifespan in order to be considered, or they do not have enough value. Let's put it that way. They do not have enough value such that they can be considered as assets. And then the last one was to say that a transaction is an agreement between a consumer and a producer to exchange something of value. And we said, yes, that's a transaction. I get we said this is true because uh, this talks about the buyer and the seller. I get, whenever there is a buying and selling, there is a transaction that takes place. And then we said this is true. And then we said when a buyer and a seller makes a financial uh, agreement, this is what is referred to as a transaction. That's just a brief summary of what we looked at yesterday. Nalwen, the true and or, or false questions and also a table you will be provided with this and that you will be provided with this because this is what we explained and dealt with in the previous lectures now let us go to question three let us try to go to question uh two and see what we we can do we are going to post now uh looking at the transactions uh, that takes place Right. Uh, one of the first things that we will do, we will write down the information that is provided to us. Uh, we are given a statement here. You will always be provided with a statement. They say Audrey started her own mobile beauty business in December 2019. She is uh, contracted by large firms to make weekly pamper. Uh, Pempa visits for all their staff. Audrey has two therapists that she employs on a part-time basis for one call out per week. Use the information provided below to analyze the transactions according to the accounting equation. Very, very important that we will be dealing with the accounting equation problem. Right. Uh, what is the data that is provided? The transactions for December 2019. So we have the transactions uh, for December 2019. Right. Uh, they say uh, they give us four, which is the date uh, paid for petrol for the month. So we have a uh, pay, let me do this, paid for the petrol for the month. Remember, we are dealing with the accounting equation. And then what was the amount? The amount is 1,000. Secondly, we have uh, 10. And uh, this is received. Uh, 1,200, uh, we received 1,200 for her services, for her services uh, at board attorneys, at board attorneys, okay? Another transaction uh, on the 22nd, uh, paid wages for the week. Uh, paid wages for, for the week. Uh, each therapist earns 500 a week. Each uh, therapist uh, and 
500 uh, per week. All right, uh, 28. These dates are very, very important because we are going to show you how you should uh, write all that in your, in your accounting equation. And then we are saying broad consumables, uh, broad consumables, uh, exfoliator, uh, soap and cream, All right? Uh, to use while rendering the service. Uh, to use while rendering the service. And then how much did they all cost? Uh, they cost an amount of 384. Right. Okay, uh, what is provided to us? You are provided with a, a table. We want to know the effects on the accounting equation. Now we want to look at the effects on the accounting equation. Right. Uh, now, let us just brief you what is happening here. The uh, whole accounting, we want to check the effect of all this on the accounting equation. We are provided with a statement in the default. But, uh, Audrey started her own mobile beauty business okay? uh, in December 2019. She is contracted by large firms to make weekly pamper visits for all their staff. You must pamper your, the, 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 uh, the visitors, uh, the staff. Audrey has, uh, has two therapists that she employ on a part-time basis for one call out per week. One call out per week. Use the information provided below to analyze the transactions according to the accounting equation. We want to analyze these transactions according to the accounting equation. Transactions for December 2019 were as follows. On uh, the 4th, they paid for the petrol for the month which cost 1000 Remember this is on the month of December. These are the days. One, uh, if this is yes, give for uh, one call out per week. I get so come on to a man who be to a fella hungry, baking. I get all low massage and never had to moon. I get a star for more to moon, right? On the 10th of December, they received 1200 for their services at board attendees, all right. Uh, on the 22nd, they paid wages for the week. Each therapist earns 500 per week. Remember, there are two of them, and there's only one call out per week. All right. On the 28th, uh, they bought consumables, uh, the exfoliator, the soap, and the cream to use while rendering the services. Because you are a therapist. You Right, and then all those things, uh, the exfoliator, the soap, and the cream, they all cost the 384. Now, we want to know the effect of these transactions on the accounting equation. So a table will be provided, of course, I think so, uh, but because this is a previous question paper, uh, the table will be provided and it will be as follows. Uh, you will have, remember, the number... You will have uh, your number, uh, you will have your journal, uh, you will have uh, your assets, you will have your assets, uh, and then under your assets, 
Remember, let me just do this. Uh, you will have uh, the effect. You will have the effect and you will also have the reason. Okay, and then you will have your owner's equity. Uh, you will have uh, owner's equity. This is how the accounting uh, equation table is formed for grade 8. And then under owner's equity also you will have uh, the effect. And you will also have uh, the reason. Okay, this is fine. And then from there, uh, everything seems to be working just fine. And then what is it that we are doing? What is it that we are doing here? We want to do what now? To show the effects of these transactions on the accounting equation. Now, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and I'm also going to do that. Uh, can somebody give me or can somebody tell me what do I write on the number there? What will be the number? What is it that I should write on this block? where we have uh, the number or one can refer to that as the date i get the also, first transaction uh, 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 because that was the first transaction it was on the 4th of uh december and then the general which general are we using here uh, when we, we we try to balance the accounting equation are we using the CPJ or the CRJ? Uh, I want you to be very careful of this statement. On the 4th of December, they paid for the petrol for the month. Did we receive, was the money entering the account of the business or was it leaving the account of the business? If money is taken out of the business account, are we, are we, are we using the CPJ or the CRJ? CPJ. CPJ, because we are paying. It's a cash payment. I can that. We are paying. We took out money. We paid for the petrol. Okay? So that is CPJ. Sorry, man. For you anymore. I'm sorry. Because common key effect. So this is CPJ. That is the general. Okay? Because we are paying cash payment. Right. Uh, we have our assets. Right. Uh, we paid for the petrol for the month and the amount was 1000 The effect on your assets. What is the effect here? On your assets, are we are we are we are we are we crediting the bank account or are we debiting that bank account? Are we crediting the bank or are we debiting the bank? What is to credit when we say we are crediting? According to the, uh, uh, the accounting, uh, 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 the double entry principle, when you debit, it's when you are entering money into the account. Again, you are debiting that account. When you are crediting, you must have a negative. Again, the money entering the business equals the money leaving the business. So come on, this amount of 1,000, that is leaving the business. Is it, are we, are, we, are we debiting the bank or are we crediting the bank? Are we uh, debiting the bank? We are? Debiting. No, that if we debit, that's when the money enters into the bank account. Well, now we have paid. paid okay. Again, so money left, the, so we are? Crediting. We are crediting. We are crediting. We are crediting. We are Hey, who can give him way? Give him way. 
According to the double entry principle, for every debit there must be a credit. And in terms of how debit ke plus, chalete ya ke account to how credit ya ke minus, chalete ya twa. Kiruna wana rinsite, we paid for petrol. Like, rinsite chalete into the account. So kama ntua mang, recredit ile the account. Because money was taken out. So rai credit. Sa mwotu na faati, bani nalepa kati isa mato. Na kia luko. Na mwotu kati isa. So we are... Uh, crediting the account. Kappa, we can just say bank is credited. I get about it. So we are crediting because money is leaving the business. And because the charity is in the business, the payment, I get it, a payment. We are recording that on a cash payment journal. The type of a journal that is used is the cash payment journal. But now this is very very important. Now reason here is not the thing. The reason here is the reason here is not more under assets. Because the money in the bank account. Ah, the money. So no, but I will tell you one reason here is because we credited the bank because money left the account of our business. Now, reason you are not in the assets are wrong. They are increasing, but the assets are wrong. They are decreasing. Shall I tell you? I get a bank account an asset. Yaro, now this is our bank account. It's an asset. Yaro. Shall I tell you? Now it's weak. I get. So, put a word now. The asset. You look at shall I tell you? It's weak. And shall I tell you? It's asset. Are we? Are we? Is the asset yaro? Increasing or is it decreasing? Decreasing. Reason here, we are decreasing. I get the asset because the chalet is weak. So we are just saying uh, assets uh, decreases. Why? Because uh, uh, money was taken out of the account. That's one of the reasons that we can say uh, money uh, was taken out. Uh, we can just say money was taken out of the bank. But when I give you the money, you do ha. Kim chuba kamu gumu tu kamu alo dula faati ai peta peite. Right. Bank account ena yaro. Bank account we ki asset ena yaro. Weta halanga asset ena yaro na ilim bank account because the chalete itule. What is the effect? The effect is that the bank was credited, money was taken out. Reason is that recording money or reason recording our assets decreases again because money was taken out of the account. Okay, the alanga owners equity. What will be the effect on the owners equity? I think how how who who much you don't know how own a business again. Hey, how own a business? What? 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 Because mona le buaga owners equity, owners equity ki in ki in and equity. Raka buaga all the resources of the business. That is owners equity. That is what we call owners equity. Are all the resources of the business, the resources that makes up the business. So what's a halang kayo na? Remember the double entry principle, please. Owners equity are all the resources. Of the business, long and short term, even including the money of the business, falls under owners' equity. It's all the money, all the resources that the business has, long and short term. Right now, Rahu, based on the double entry principle, if we credited the assets 
ho tloetsa hala inka owners equity effective mona na it must ho tloetsa hala nka yona mo owners equity must be debited based on the double entry principle if you credit something you must also debit something it's just that the credit becomes negative and debit becomes positive because the credit get chalete e kena sorry man debit get chalete e kena to the business credit get chalete that is leaving the business so the double entry principle e ring rule if the assets were credited owners equity must be debited jesus uh, so come on come on mona now we are just saying uh owners equity is debited get the double entry principle each of you if, if you you credited the account money was taken out of the account the double entry principle here the owners equity command among must be debited with the same amount of money that left the business ha ke tsebela ba ga nna a ke re wona jole mmenta o leng ha raisa poko motho a nkile 350 eh motho mo mmenta o leng o betshele teng e khutla e le 420 mmenta o leng tshwa pela tlo e yetsa 420 mo o tlong ka 350 yana a e khutsetse ka gae ka account o in o debita the account because the account was credited money was taken out ya 350 motho na go bona jole o khutlisa chalet mmenta o leng ka mila etseng a debited the account ka the same amount ya ne motho na inkile then a gona bona na profit ya e setse na ke buka this is what we call the double entry principle the money that left the business must be equals to the money that enters the business that uh, this is very very important yeah. highly and highly important right and then what will be the reason hemo if if the owners equity is debited what could be the reason for that remember ko khutse the statement day uh, we paid for petrol we paid for petrol ke in ke in petrol ke in it was on the lead e ka ntle lo e e e e fana ka energy ya go lo ke e in petrol petrol is it an asset or is it an expense an expense it's an expense petrol it's an expense so reason go to re petrol is an expense ke tsa go le tsa ma ke expense because uh, we need to buy that petrol so we are spending on petrol it's an expense everything as a spend on oyona it's an expense i get on that so it does what it decreases your owners equity so petrol is an expense uh, it decreases your owners equity o e owners equity that's the problem or a petrol it's an expense and therefore it will decrease your owners equity so come on german it will decrease what now the amount that you have on your account we can we can say that right now that you understand how to fill up the first transaction on the accounting equation now let us try and look at the second one now renale number kai 10 now hare bale we received umamele the first one we paid the account was credited we received 1200 rand we received 1200 rand for her services at board attorneys now because i received 1200 on what journal am i going to record that am i going to use the cpj or the crj 
the CRJ because it is a cash received Jena. So you know it is CRJ. Cash uh, received Jena. Right. I want to go ahead. In our cash receipt, uh, Jenna, we received what? Cash. Because we risk yeah, straight forward. But no, fun to know. But we now show where the effect of the accounting equation. But we need a statement to examine. As if I put into the year and that. And the question here, in a little max, it's a guy to examine. Look at the game ball. Thank you. This is very, very serious. Uh, in Ali, the ten for every come on, come on, everything, the entire column, it's worth uh, ten marks, right? So we are recording that on the CRJ cash receipt journal, yeah. Yeah? right? Now, on the assets where we have the effect and the reason. <coughs> now, let me take you back. We received one thousand two hundred for her services at the board attorneys. Now, what is the effect? Is the bank credited or is the bank debited? Are we crediting the bank or are we debiting uh, the bank is debited? We received 1,200. Are we crediting or are we debiting? Debit is the amount of money that enters the business. Credit is the amount of money leaving the business. Now, give a statement. Siri, we shall take an account. We received that. We shall take an into the account. Now, put up or now, are we crediting the bank or are we debiting the bank? Hold on that. We are debiting the account. The bank is debited. Very good. I get in the delta. Yes. We are debiting because this is uh, the amount that is entering the business. And a ratio or a, uh, based on the owner's equity, the double entry principle must be applied. Now, what is the reason? What should what could be a possible reason here? We received 1200 for her services. For her services. What could be the reason for that? Our assets decreasing or our is our assets increasing it is increasing our assets are increasing because money is an asset money is an asset so come on our assets are increasing our assets are increasing why why are we saying our assets are increasing why Money is entering the business. Kappa money is entering and uh, money is being received by uh, the account. Assets are increasing. Uh, uh, we can say uh, uh, money into the bank. Money uh, enters the account. I, money enters the account or money enters the bank. Whatever the English you may have there, it doesn't really matter. But the teacher will understand. Our assets are increasing because money is an asset. Money is entering the business. Right. So who is a halanga owner's equity? What is going to happen to our owner's equity? Is owner's equity debited or is it credited? Now I want to draw your attention to something. Based on the double entry principle, if the assets were credited, the owner's equity must be debited. debited. And now that the assets were debited, debited. come on, come on, the owner's equity must be credited. Ay, Jesus. Ah, my father. Owner's equity is credited. Get the double entry principle. But now this is very, very important. That Right. So we got a reason you are not in. in this cash that we have received, one thousand two hundred for her services. We got to the reason for that. Received money that is received. received. 
That is the reason uh, money money is received. Therefore, who is a halang? Who is a halang if money is received? Because money is an income. Who is a halang? Who is a halang that owners equity? Is it decreasing or is it increasing? Owners equity are how shall I take it into the account? Is our uh, owner's equity increasing or decreasing? Can I go on the owner's equity decreases because the account was credited. Now that the account is debited, is our owner's equity increasing or decreasing? It is increasing, again, because money is entering the business. So owner's equity is increasing. Owners equit. Owners equit. Owners equit. Right. That was the second uh, transaction we can say. Now we are on the date year the 22. Right. We paid. Um, I made a statement. We paid wages for the week. Each therapist earns 500 per week. Is, are we going to record this? Is money entering the business or is money leaving the business? Money is leaving because we are paying someone. I get it? Now, if we are paying by cash, because we are saying that each therapist earns 500 per week. Are we going to record this transaction on a CPJ or CRJ? CPJ. 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 Ah, we are paying. Jesus, my father. Right. Now, money is an asset, okay? Now that money has left the business, uh, the business was credited. What will be the effect, Mo? Is the bank debited or is the bank credited? The bank is credited. Because the money is leaving the business. Right. What could be the reason, Imo? Are our assets increasing or are our assets decreasing? Are they increasing or are they increasing? Our assets. Our assets are decreasing because money was taken out. I can reach you rather the bank was credited. So our assets. Hey. No examining. No. 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 So the assets are. Decreasing. Uh, why money is taken out of the account? Again, right. That is the reason. Now, where the halanga owners equity based on the uh, the double entry principle. Now, is our owners equity going to be debited or are they going to be credited? Based on uh, the double entry principle, if our assets were credited, our owner's equity must be credited. If it was credited, our owner's equity must be debited. 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 So we are going to say that our owner's equity is debited. 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 Okay, that is fine. And then, what could be the reason? What is going to be our reason? Remember, we paid wages for the week. Each therapist earns 500 per week. So what could be the reason here? What is a wage? Wage is an expense. So uh, we can just say uh, wages are expenses. Again, so where's the Alanga owner's equity? Owner's equity is decreasing. Which are time to tell of it? I call. You got a practice. You got a fellow practice in Tutti. I didn't know Nicks. 
Nix, nix, nix. Otamilo understand the statement, eh? Otamilo will be the double entry principle. Will be the double entry principle, eh? Will be the mabak. Will be the assets ki in. Will be owners equity ki in. Will be the reason. Very, very important. Kinto se ba kam practice. Jenali, jenali. Will be the jenali, jenali a thing irresponsible for what? Now the last transaction, yadi twenty-eight. Uh, bar, uh, they brought consumables, uh, the exfoliator, the soap, and the cream uh, to use while rendering the services, and they all cost three hundred and eighty-four. We 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 bought these things. Again, uh, we bought these things. So how about the regid? Was money entering the business or the money was leaving the business? Have you done Jyoti? Was money entering the business or was money leaving the business? Was money leaving? Money was leaving business. the business. Was the account credited or was the account debited? Credited. Credited. Amen. So if the account is credited, are we recording the transactions? Yeah, 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 yeah. This. Uh, on the general year, CPJ or CRJ. Remember, we are buying money is taken out into the, uh, from the business. For a therapist. So are we are we are we recording this on a CPJ or CRJ? That is hot. C CPJ because it's a cash payment. We are paying by. Cash. Right. So we are saying the bank is credited. Alright, because money is leaving the account. Now, what is uh, that would be the effect? The reason again. The reason again. Assets, are they increasing or are they decreasing? Increasing. I call. I call and the one such a letter account to Holo Kadinto. So come on, someone our assets are decreasing because of an essential asset decreases, uh, money uh, is taken out of the account. Very good. Now, where the Halanga owners equity according to the double entry principle? If the assets were credited, Mona, our assets must be what's our under owner's equity? The owner's equity is it credited or is it debited? It must be debited. Debited. <laughs> owner's equity is debited. Right. So the reason is in more. What is this? Uh, we bro we bought consumables. Uh, what are they? Consumables are expenses. We don't spend out on again. So uh, we can say consumables. Consumables are expenses, and therefore, whether halanka owners equity owners equity decreases again. And then we we are done with this question. We are done with this question. Uh, let me just give you some chance. Uh, I don't know whether you are going to copy down or whether you are going to shoot. Uh, the choice uh, is yours.